more than four and a half million alzheimer's patients in america today with their number expected to double by twenty thirty the economic burden is already enormous estimated at one hundred ten billion dollars a year well cognition therapeutics hopes to do something about it by developing therapies that target the toxic proteins that appear to cause cognitive decline Hank Safferstein is president and CEO of Cognition Therapeutics. Welcome, good to have you. Oh, thank you, glad to be here. I was looking at the CVs of the whole senior management team of this company and none of you appears to have a personal connection to this region. So what's Cognition Therapeutics doing here? Well, that's a good question. Uh, I myself am from uh, New York area. I moved here with my family. Uh, Susan Catalano, who's the chief science officer is from San Francisco. Uh, and uh, we've actually hired people, uh, folks from within Pittsburgh, but we came here mainly because of the uh, economic development groups that were here, Pittsburgh Life Sciences Greenhouse, Innovation Works. I came as an executive in residence uh, with the Pittsburgh Life Sciences Greenhouse, and on around the time that I came here, uh, Susan Catalano was looking for a place to build her company, her Alzheimer's drug discovery company. And so it was somewhat serendipitous. We met here uh, and we began to uh, talk about building the company here and the, and the first seed capital came from the Life Sciences Greenhouse and Innovation Works. Um, the Life Sciences Greenhouse built the lab out and bought much of the equipment and leased it back to the company and just created a, an incredible environment for us to just start the work that had to be done to tackle this uh, this terrible disease. Now, have you are there many models like this in the United States in terms of the support you found when uh, you came to our region? I, I don't think so. Uh, it, it's very difficult to start a drug discovery company anywhere. Uh, but Pittsburgh uh, is particularly fertile ground for us. Uh, there's enormous amount of bio, uh, neurobiology expertise here, uh, but the seed capital, the infrastructure, and not only that, the connectivity to other capital sources. We raised somewhere in around you know six, eight hundred thousand in seed capital, but we leveraged all of that to over. Uh, four billion in, in total investment thus far. A lot of that comes from outside the region, but some of it comes from within the region as well. So uh, we're a model that I think it, we're gonna see a lot more of, which is uh, purely funded by angels, uh, connected to the economic development roots here. We continue to work in an incubator space that's provided by the Life Sciences Greenhouse. So I think we're gonna see a lot more of it, but it starts here in Pittsburgh. Wow, I'm really excited. You, you started a drug discovery company. So how does that differ from giant pharmaceutical company? Well, that's a great question. We, we, um, we focus on purely high-risk innovation initially. Mm -hmm. You know, how do we, how do we discover drugs that, uh, against a disease that um, we haven't been as successful with at all uh, throughout over 100 years now? Uh, so you have to take a really innovative approach, and that's what Dr. Catalano, Susan Catalano, brought to the region was an idea, her and uh, Gil Rishton, and, and, uh, who's another founder, and um, uh, Franz Hefty, they came and they said, look, you know, this, we think we have a better way or a more uh, effective way of discovering drugs. And so we built what we call screens, a way to, 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 um, to find drugs that stop this, the progression of the disease. And actually what, what we did was uh, created Alzheimer's in a dish, Susan likes to say. Mm -hmm. And then we looked for novel molecules that block the action of these toxic proteins. And it's an approach that uh, initially pharma um, hasn't been, wasn't very comfortable with, but um, because it's yielded such great results for us, we're beginning to get some traction now. So it's really part of how pharma is evolving as well. They're, they're finding innovation in biotechnology companies and doing less of it in-house. Well, that's fascinating. I, I, we had a CEO of Knopf Biosciences down here a few weeks ago. Mm -hmm. We were talking about the long lead time. I mean, you're raising the money from angels. I mean, don't, don't they want an exit strategy? I mean, how do you deal with the long lead time from drug discovery to actually getting a drug on the market? Well, it's, a, uh, it's really a simple matter of uh, supply and demand. Uh, when you look at diseases like uh, ALS and Lou Gehrig's disease that uh, Knopf is tackling, and you look at Alzheimer's, uh, there's simply no molecules, there's no drugs out there that, that stem the course of this disease or block it or reverse it. And if we can come up with these molecules, these drugs, that, uh, that, that stem the course of this disease, then uh, pharma will come to the table earlier, they'll acquire companies like Cognition, and these angel investors will have their liquidity and, vet and their returns, which by the way are, are tremendous compared to other verticals like you know, devices and, and, and diagnostics where uh, the, the demand is not as high. Hmm. And then what happens, you have this whatever the, the liquidity event is, you go on then to other drug discovery initiatives well, <laughs> within this company? Yeah. I wish I knew. Uh, you know, our, 
our plan is to maintain our focus on being uh, innovative and to focus on drug discovery. We've got a platform that we've built here that's not only relevant for Alzheimer's, but we can tackle other diseases that are related to the, uh, these proteins, these toxic proteins, for instance, Parkinson's. Uh, all of these are very, very difficult diseases to discover drugs for, and we've got a platform that allows us to do that. So. Uh, our our uh, vision for Cognition, if you will, is to create a boutique drug discovery company that continuously develops highly innovative drugs and then partners them to pharma. Uh, and, then, and then we have to be very creative about how we finance the company so that our investors get their return in a reasonable amount of time. But we, to date, we have no venture capital in the company. It's all angel funded and uh, we're proud. We have, a, we have a fantastic group of investors and they've been very supportive and they'll continue to be. Wow. Well, the company's called Cognition Therapeutics. Fascinating story. Great to see it happening here in our region. Well, thanks for yeah. having me, and we're really delighted to be in Pittsburgh. Thanks so much. All right. We'll be back uh, with more of our region's business in just a few minutes. Stay with us.